Okay, so the brushed F3 Evo came in literally five minutes ago. Came in the mail. Here it is. It seems to me that it's the same length as a size guy, but a little bit wider. But that's okay. So, what I'm going to do first is put on the battery cable. It comes with this, the FC, and some mounting foam, which is pretty cool. Most FCs don't come with that shit. Alright. It's pretty cool too. It's already pre-tinned for the battery cable on the wires and on the FC. But I'm going to put a little bit of my own on there because you never know what you're getting. So, let's begin. Nothing special here, just positive and negative. What I like to do and what everybody should do is always check your batteries. Make sure they're lining up. The right color wire. And it is, so that's always a good thing. So here we go. Not enough solder. Okay. There we go. Alright, that's good to go. Next up, I will mount this. I already have my own foam tape on the frame. So, um, I'm just going to use that for now. This stuff always works the best for me. I've built countless, countless brush quads. and um, This stuff has never failed me. I need to give it a nice, good, firm push and hold it down for a few seconds the first time. It's never going to come off until you really want it to. And what I use is this stuff. It's 3M. You can get it anywhere. Um, I get it at Rite Aid, Hobby Lobby, Walmart. Awesome stuff. It's cheap too. Okay, so I'll do the motors next. I'm going to tin the board first. And I'm sure most of you um, have already done this a million times and don't really want to see it probably. So, go ahead and fast forward. <laughs> because it's pretty boring. I myself, I don't mind watching other people solder because I maybe I'll learn something new, you know, that I don't do or maybe make something easier for me. Some other trick that somebody else has found or something, you know. 
and maybe I'll be helping somebody else out that's watching right now. Okay. Now, I had my phone on with uh, where everything is on this board. It's on the Banggood website. And the only things I need are the motors and then the, um, the satellite and a 5 volt out. Which I'll just use one of these two right here. Or maybe I'll use... No, I can't use UR3. I'll use one of these. Just the ground and the 5 volt. So the first one towards the USB is ground and the next one's the power. Okay. So I'll go with one on the inside, I guess. And then this is for the satellite right here. Lemon satellite is what I'm using. And uh, from the outside in, it goes red, black, yellow. Um, I was going to show that my satellite. What I like to do is for brush builds is. Uh, take the case off and then I take the plug off and then uh, tin the holes and then add my own wire and this is silicone wire so it's just a lot better to use then I put hot glue over the wires and I put hot glue over each antenna and then I put plasti dip over the whole thing and I w tried to weigh this it doesn't even weigh a gram it doesn't even show up on the scale so it's less than a gram and then I got this down to 5 grams, put Plasti Dip on it, I put Epoxy at the base of the antenna, and then Plasti Dip, Epoxy it up here and Plasti Dip, took the case off and so it's ready to go. So go ahead and do the motors real quick. I'm using these. Uh, these were what the doctor used on my daughter to give her stitches when she cut her head open. She tripped over some a toy and went face first into the uh, fish tank stand, which is made of metal, and busted her head open. This was like a year ago. We got rid of the fish tank <laughs> after that. Alright, so. This goes red and blue in the front left white and black front right then you got your positive and negative that's it and these little things work great for uh, holding the wire steady so we got negatives are all always forward
one more. What? Okay, hold on. Just twisting the wires up a little bit more. So they'll reach. Ah. All right. So that's done. Motors are connected. I'll deal with the wiring later. I'll clean it up. So let's see, next we will put on the satellite and I'm probably going to shorten the wires up. Um, yeah, I'll probably put it just like that. So we'll go right there. And yes, I used my teeth to pull the ends off. So, we'll tin those up. And, see, I think I forgot red, black, yellow. Okay, red, black, yellow. That looks good. Now I'm probably going to put a little bit of hot glue on there, but I'll do that later on. So that'll go right there with some foam. Camera up here. And I'm definitely going to have to use hot glue for that. So let's see, um, next I guess I'll solder this on. Nice. 
clip the end off of this. It's a little bit long. All right. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now, or the next step, I guess, is I'm going to hook it up to Clean Flight and do all the settings real quick. And then I'll make sure it's flying, and then I will put on the uh, camera. So let me just grab the computer. Cool, I'm doing something for a minute, okay? <clears throat> I don't know. Okay, so the issue was that in my Betafly configurator I had auto connect on. So when I plugged this in, it was trying to connect through Betafly and I didn't know it and I was trying to open it in Clean Flight. So I disconnected and now it connects in Clean Flight. So all is well. It has it comes with uh, Clean Flight 1.13. So what I'm going to do for now is just leave that and see how it flies and go from there but I will most likely put beta flight on it so for ports um, like I showed before I'm using UART 3 for the satellite so UART 3 you want serial and it boots you out each time and then reconnects. It's weird. But it saves, so that's all I care about. Next up, I'm going to. Oh, it looks like it's already. No, it's not set up. Okay, so. Minimum, I'll do 1100. Maximum, 2000. Well, we'll see what my radio does, but anyway, um, serial, no VBAT, no current meter, 2048, uh, I don't know why telemetry is on, or black box, or race transponder, why is all this shit on, <laughs> what the hell, okay, save and reboot. crazy shit and this time it's not going to connect automatically okay next pid tuning um, I like the 2.3 um, I'll leave all the pids for now I will up the rates though This is just to get me started. Then I'll go from there and change where I need to change. Man, I haven't played with Clean Flight for a long time. I don't know why it went back to rewrite. Maybe I guess I didn't save it. Okay. Yeah. I'm like hating on Clean Flight now. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Save. Receiver, I'm using a DX6, so I want Spectrum. Um, Expo, I put to zero, or actually no, I'll leave that for now. Um, modes, put angle, I guess, and horizon, and air mode. Save and then fill safe. Okay. Next, I will go to CLI and uh, attempt to. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. Attempt to um, bind. Set dash. Okay, you type set, spacebar, spectrum, underscore, sat, underscore, bind, space, equals, space. Uh, this is a DSM-2, so we'll go 7, enter, save, and we'll see if that worked. See if we can make some magic happen. <sighs> okay, first time plugging in. Oh, wait. I totally forgot to do something. I forgot to type the motor PWM rate. So go into the CLI. This is a pretty important part because your motors will start spinning as soon as you plug. Uh, it's wanting to bind now too. I'll try to bind it real quick. Which will be weird to do without power but let's see what happens no nope. yeah I gotta do that again the satellite was flashing though so <laughs> thought I would try it okay set space motor underscore PWM underscore rate space equals space 32 thousand save and then I gotta do the uh, satellite thing again because you can only do it once at a time ah Trying to rush things. All right. Here we go. Ah, I'll try five, I guess.
All right, there we go. Okay, so I probably have to reverse throttle and pitch or something like that. So after you bind it, you turn everything off and you go back in and you do the same thing, but you put in the number zero instead of five or nine or seven. And that makes it to where it doesn't go into bind mode every time you turn it on. You just need to make sure you always turn your radio on first. Okay. So now we'll see what the deal is with the receiver settings. Throttle's right, yaw needs to be reversed, and roll. Yaw and roll. Okay. So 18, so 1850 was right. 1100 to 1850. We got flight modes. Failsafe is working. So, change that to 1850. And then it should be ready to fly now. Let's try it out. Make sure nothing gets in the way of the props. Oh, one more thing I forgot to do. Got to put travel up to 150 on all these. That makes it to where you can do all of the uh, stick commands as well. But it's needed for the yaw to be able to arm. Okay, I thought I had put motor stop on. Guess I gotta check that again. I could have swore I put motor stop on. I hate it when the motors start when I arm. It's nice. <clears throat> People think that they need it if they want to do like flips and stuff like that, but that's what air mode's for. You know? I mean, you got it on a switch. You do all your tricks in the air in air mode, and then you flip it back to a regular mode when you want to land, you know? Simple. Okay. Now it's good to go. There we go. Alright, we're good to go. It's wanting to jump when I yaw. Uh... 
flies pretty smooth though. Alright, well, I think I'm probably going to be going to beta flight. I'm just so used to it. I, I really don't like clean flight anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll probably be flashing it to beta flight, but flies pretty smooth. Um, this battery that I have on here now isn't very good, so it didn't have a lot of power. Uh, I found this battery in my car like the other day, and it was had to have been in there for over a year, so it's probably not a good battery. But um, yeah, I just got this. I'm just too used to beta flight. So next, I'll check that the camera is working and then I will use some hot glue and mount it um, let me plug it in and check it out. I don't know if you guys will be able to see into my goggles but I'll try I really don't like that they put this plug on the bottom either it's ridiculous they have a new one they just came out with where it's on the back but uh, it doesn't help me. So let's just check if it's working. I'll try to get it set it so where I can spin the throttle up and see if there's any noise in them from the motors. So the power's on on it. So it's working. Let's see if I can't set it down like this. see if I see any motor noise I seriously doubt there will be any there we got it right there so let me try to see if I can let you see I don't know if you can see that or not But, anyway, let me see if I see any motor noise. Nope. None at all. It's crystal clear. Yeah, it's awesome. I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys that, but I'll try. No noise. So that's good. So really all I need to do is kind of button everything down, get the satellite down, get the camera mounted in the front, and uh, flash it to beta flight. And then um, I'll start back up with a new video and show you guys the end result.